Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and it's like 7 in the morning. I am working on getting ready for Everly's birthday party. So I'm kind of in a little bit of a pickle because tomorrow is her birthday party, and there's a little bit of a chance of rain, and it's been like going up and down, and we don't know what we're going to do. So we may have the party here. We may have the party at um, my mother and father-in-law's house. We just don't know yet. The problem with having it here is that it has to be outside if it's here because our house is small. We cannot have everyone inside, so it has to be outside. And if it would rain, it would be incredibly packed in here. And I just, I don't know. It just wouldn't work. So we're trying to figure out what to do. If we should have just go ahead and have it here and try it or have it there. As we checked this morning, there was only... A 21% chance until the end of the party, it goes up to 31% chance. So that's not very high, but it's also, I don't know what to do. But anyways, regardless, I still have to get started getting stuff ready, no matter where it's going to be. So I'm going to get started on making Everly's smash cake. And let me show you the pan that I have. So this is the pan that I have. This is what um, I made a stacked cake for New Year's Eve. And it's a big freaking cake. But we don't have a smaller circle pan, and I need to get this started. So Everly's just going to have a huge cake for her smash cake. But I already have, like, the cake topper to go on it and everything, so I don't want to do a cupcake. So she's just going to have a huge cake, and it'll be funny. And so whatever. She's obviously not going to eat a ginormica cake. But I'm going to get started on cooking it up. This is what I'm using for it, just the Funfetti cake. So I'm going to get started whipping this up and cooking up the cake. And I'll show you guys the process of stacking the cake, how I go about doing that. I'm not at all a professional. I'm not good at it at all. I've literally only done it one other time. But it's just fun. And I don't know. I think it's going to be cute. And if all else fails, we'll hurry up and pick up like a small cake from Walmart tomorrow morning. <laughs> like it'll be fine. So the cake has been cooking and it's completely cooked. I know I just have it in here in the freezer. And I have it in the freezer because whenever you stack the cakes, my house is a mess, ignore that please. Whenever you stack the cakes, um, you want them to be frozen and I'm gonna have to cut them like to be completely even. So they're just here and there. I cooked two of them. So that's why it's gonna be huge. Are you excited for your cake? Now I'm here, I'm coming to get my nails done. I just parked up the place because they need them so bad and I want to do them for Everly's birthday party. So I know that it might sound silly and that nobody cares about what my nails are, but that's one thing that I feel is important as a mom to pamper myself. So I am going to go in and get them done really fast and I'll show you what they look like as soon as they're done. I just got them done. How pretty. I decided to do a coffin shape this time and I did like a nude color. I'm obsessed. I'm really living through this coffin shape. Like, so fun. So I got a pink because that's obviously really the girl and it's her birthday. And I just went a nude from having that yellow color. But now I have to go to Walmart. I have a little list of things to get. And I'm picking up my groceries. So we are going to leave and head there. Everly's presents and I just thought that I'd show you what I got her. I know this angle and lighting is very unflattering, but we're getting through it, okay? So the first thing that we got her, it's from a brand called Squigs. I got these for her because I thought they'd be fun for like when you go out to eat to stick them on the table and plus 
you can just kind of put them on that wall or wherever. But I just thought they'd be fun. It's like literally all you do is suction cup them down and then you throw them. And then I got her this little set for the fridge. It's called Fridge Phonics. And it has like the little bus and it plays sounds. And then it has all the letters in it and you stick them in and it helps with like learning the alphabet and things like that. So I thought this would be fun for whenever I have to do like things with dishes or cooking supper or whatnot. I thought that this would be something for her to do. Do you have like a bookshelf? Here in the kitchen so that way she gets her books out and reads like reads and plays with them um but i just thought this would be another thing and it's still educational that she would like to do and this other thing is because baby girl loves babies um she loves like baby dolls and holding them and she loves like to interact with them forever they like make noises and whatnot so i picked this one up for her this actually her her aunt is like one year older than her but her aunt actually has this same baby doll and she is obsessed she loves the fact that the baby has like a little pacifier and it makes sounds and noises it's like see like opens and closes their mouth i don't know fun fact she actually played with it in the store when um, i picked it out for her but i think that she will absolutely love this just because i know that she already does so I'm going to wrap up everything. <laughs> guys so today is the next morning i'm really tired i did not sleep very much but it's all worth it i'm currently cooking up the last bit of food i have the cupcakes half of them just finished i'm gonna put the other half in and i'm currently working on the macaroni i can put the recipe in the description box if you are interested just cooking up all the food and getting ready and then i gotta get myself ready i really still sleep so i'm trying to get as much done as i possibly can while she is still asleep
I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and for everyone who came to the party. I want to say thank you so much for coming because it was a great party and there was no rain that I was worried about. It was not existent and everything went great. We were cleaning up. Everything's all put away and Evie had a perfect birthday and I'm so grateful and thankful for everyone that loves our sweet baby and I just want to say thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.